Good afternoon, students. Today is a special day for many of the world language students here at Lin High School. Our World Language Honor Societies for Chinese, French, Italian, and Spanish have been a staple here at LHS for many years. This virtual ceremony is to recognize the vast achievements of students in our prestigious World Languages program. Today we recognize new members of each society and bid a fond farewell to senior members moving on to new endeavors in the fall. One of my favorite quotes is the following, a person who knows two languages is worth two people. Learning languages opens doors to new experiences and perspectives, and that is something we strive for here at Linden High School. Our message of strength through our diversity, global-mindedness, and consideration for all mankind are just a few elements that our World Language Program deeply embodies. Congratulations on your achievements, and we look forward to seeing how you will continue to bring harmony to this world through your linguistic intelligence. Hi everyone, I'm very happy to take this opportunity to congratulate all of Linden High School's new National Honor Society inductees for World Languages. Uh, my name is Kevin Lamastra. I'm the supervisor of ESL Bilingual and World Languages, and I'm so proud of all of the accomplishments of our Linden students. Uh, I'm really glad that you've taken to heart with so much passion the study of world languages and cultures. Your expertise in language and culture is exactly what the world needs right now. Um, all of the great challenges that we're facing need to be solved with cross-border collaboration. Collaboration between people who speak, empathize, understand each other, their languages, their cultures. Um, great challenges such as climate change, poverty, global conflict. I mean, right now we're having this ceremony virtually instead of live and in person because we're still struggling with a global pandemic. That's just one example that everyone can understand of the importance of global issues and the importance of having leaders with the ability to work across borders and collaborate to make life better, sustainable, more just in the future. And I look to you with great confidence as the leaders who will achieve this in the future. So congratulations to all of you, our Linden High School World Languages National Honor Society inductees. Hello, Linden High School Chinese National Honor Society seniors. I would like to make this little presentation to congratulate you all for graduating and graduating with the Chinese National Honor Society. First, I would like to recognize Travis Espinal. Travis completed Chinese two honors and Chinese three honors and made significant progress from his freshman to his sophomore year. I remember when Travis first started, he really was a bit apprehensive about speaking Chinese, but by the end, we had him speak in full sentences and I could not be happier. Travis will be attending Rutgers University in the fall. Next up is Miguel Macias. Miguel started Linden High School uh, as a freshman with Chinese 1, went on to Chinese 2, and moved from there to Chinese IB, giving himself a real challenge especially because Miguel came into Linden High School with no previous Chinese experience and now has completed the IB program. So congratulations, Miguel. You took a chance, and I think it really paid off for you. Miguel will be attending Felician University in the fall and has dreams of going into business and selling real estate. So now is the best time for that. Good luck. Next up is Shirley Meneses. Shirley has completed Chinese 2 honors, Chinese 3 honors, and Chinese IB. I have to say, Shirley is probably by far the most organized member of the class. And um, these skills will definitely help her out when she attends Rutgers University in the fall. Shirley also has a passion for the sciences and for animals, and I look forward to seeing what type of things Shirley will do in regards to veterinary science in the future. Good luck. Next, we have Jackie Ren. Jackie has completed Chinese 2 honors, Chinese 3 honors, and Chinese IB, but Jackie has the distinction of being one of my first students in the Linden Public School System, as I taught Jackie when he was in fourth grade in school six. Uh, since then, and for all of high school, Jackie is always, always willing to lend a hand to others. He's always good humored, and he's just always a kind person to everyone in the class. 
these traits will help him out immensely when he attends Rutgers University in the fall to study business. Good luck to you, sir. Now we come to Mahmoud Shahata. Mahmoud was one of my early students in the Linden Public Schools as well, as I taught him when he was a fifth grader in school one. And I've always joked that Mahmoud in fifth grade was sort of the same as Mahmoud today, not because he hasn't matured, but because he was so mature almost from the get-go. Mahmoud has always studied hard and has shown me that people, students, anybody who studies hard can really accomplish great things and really will not have any limits upon them. And this will no doubt serve him well when he attends NYU in the fall. Next we come to Leo Young. Leo has completed Chinese 2 honors, Chinese 3 honors, and Chinese IB. Leo has always been there for his classmates to help out, and he's actually always been there for me as well as a challenge because Leo speaks excellent Chinese, but always kept his mind open to learn more, to improve his writing, to improve his reading, and to really just improve himself. These skills and this desire for self-improvement will undoubtedly help him when he attends Rutgers University in New Brunswick to study business in the fall. Next, and finally, we come to Samantha Sakaira. Samantha has completed Chinese 1, Chinese 2, and Chinese IB. This is notable because Samantha started Linden High School with no previous experience in the Chinese language and moved straight up to IB by her junior year. This is no easy feat and really speaks a lot to Samantha's personality, her tenaciousness, and her intellect, which will no doubt help her when she attends her university in the fall. Congratulations, Samantha. So once again, a big congratulations to the CNHS class of 2021. I know we've had a bit of a rough year. It's been a strange year, but I cannot be prouder of you guys. You guys have taken the initiative. You guys have shown me that you could really work hard. You've been serious about your studies and I can do nothing but wish you the best of luck in college, in career and in life. You guys have really shown what hard work, perseverance and good study habits can do. Congratulations one more time and best of luck with everything. Mesdames et Monsieur, bonsoir, and uh, welcome to this year's uh, Honors Society induction ceremony. This is uh, the French Honors Society induction ceremony. Um, Rue Delta Nou, the Linden High School chapter. It's my pleasure and honor to graduate the senior members and to induct and welcome the junior members. Um, the Société Honoré du Français, Rue Delta Nou, Linden High School chapter was created by um, our former French teacher, Mrs. Aida Nagipal, and it started uh, in 2002. And uh, since then, we've been having uh, induction ceremonies every single year. Um, despite everything that we've gone through this year, we're having um, a great induction ceremony. It's a great thing that uh, we are recognizing these young men and women who are, to me, la creme de la creme of um, LHS. So, before I start tonight to induct junior members, I would like to recognize two of our Linden High School students and uh, who have performed really, really tremendously well in the Grand Concours, which is um, the national French uh, exam. It's a contest. So two of our, our students were gold medalists this year. It's my pleasure to recognize Junior, Carl Adolf, winning a gold medal, level four, and Senior, Chloe Elmira, winning a gold medal also for level five. This, that being said, now, I would like to introduce and induct our junior members. Monsieur, Madame, bienvenue, mes élèves uh, de uh, la classe première, bienvenue dans notre organisation, uh, la Société Honoraire du Français, uh, le chapitre de Linden, Rue Delta Nou. On y va? First candidate, first student, Carl Adolf, Justina, Christina, Anita Louis. Dancy Derosier, Franco Martinez Isaura, Medina Jane, Kyla Sumter, Samantha Tejus. Last but not the least, Fiona Tinsdale, 
je vous présente les élèves de la classe de première élève du chapitre de Linden Row Deltano. Bienvenue. Seniors, this is your year. This is your time. I know we've gone through a lot. Webex, online, in class, online. You know, we've done it all. Being part of the National Honor Society, French National Honor Society, has made me very proud. And I do want to recognize you today uh, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate the times that we've been together, having these meetings and everything. To start the ceremony, graduating our senior members, I would like to introduce um, our class officers, our president, Chloe Elmira, Vice President, Emily Pijerak, Treasurer, Modlen Henry, and our Secretary, Sindel Dalson. And now, presenting to you the graduating class of Linden High School, French Honor Society, P. Ro Delta No. Premier candidate, Sindel Dasser. Sindel has uh, always been one of my quiet ones, but her work, work ethics, classwork, homework have been very exemplary. Sindel has been a member of many clubs at the high school, International Club, uh, French Honor Society. She's graduating as uh, a member of uh, the RTC. And Sindel is headed to NYU. Right now, she's going as an undeclared major, and uh, she hopes to find her way, and uh, she will try to explore um, the uh, different facets of uh, maybe medical or the law school but she's going as an undeclared major for the, for the two years. Sindel, I'm going to miss you, but I have your work and uh, you always be my student. And next year, we hope to visit you as um, our, stu our former student at NYU. Thank you very much. Chloe Elmira, my president. Next up, uh, Maudlin Henry. Uh, Maud is a quiet one. Uh, Maud is our treasurer. She she made sure that she collected all the little money that we can or we could get, um, you know, for our regalia. She has that uh, uh, money cash up, and she made sure every student paid her, and uh, we got our stuff. Thank you very very much, Maud. Maud will be going to Bay Path University in Massachusetts. Um, she's a little bit, a little bit scared, a little bit afraid. That's a normal feeling, you know, living mom for the first time, living dad. Uh, you're going to be fine, Maud. I know you're very, very much a young lady. I know you're going to make it. Um, just keep us posted on what's going on. Um, right there, Maud wants to major in forensic psychology. So I know she's so quiet because she studies people and she can tell you what's up and what's going on. Um, next, uh, we have Natalie Jean. We call her the stylish, you know, I thought uh, that's our top model in the group. Um, Natalie uh, is very quiet, you know, always being herself and does what she thinks is right uh, to be done. 
she will be going to Kenya University. Uh, Natalie told me that um, she wants to to uh, major in um, social work, so she wants to become a social worker, always um, caring for others, and that's what she wants to do and, uh, and be back in a school setting. And I think that's really, really great um, to have you in that field, Natalie. Um, Daniel and Verde. Denny, I just had Denny this year, but it's like, it seems like I've known Denny forever. More so, I've had him as my student, uh, my uh, distance student on WebEx. Denny, thank you very much for always allowing your mom to be our guest speaker uh, in our classes. Thank you very much for making me um, a star on TNT News because he's part of the TNT News and uh, that's why he, he will be going to the LA Film School and he wished uh and he knows he will become um a sports and film um editor and uh i really appreciate our time you're one great kid and i know you've been doing well you've been working and taking care of everybody else merci beaucoup um next up felipe macias um felipe we're going to still play the game after you taught me everything about you know the ps4 and other stuff you know he's the gamer of the class and uh he hopes to to go to uh he will be going to ken university and uh he will be majoring in architecture and tourism and uh, doing things with video and computers uh, on the side so i know you do good you will do good you will do well wherever you're going so thanks very much felipe uh, next, it's uh, Uber, Uber Michel. We we'll call him Uber XL, and we're happy that you played along with us for all these years. Uh, you're a great kid. Uber, he will be going to UCC. He's a sports fan, and he wants to be majoring in uh, business management, and he hopes to have his own business. That's our entrepreneur in the class. Um, he already works, and he has a lot of money already saved up for his business. Uber is a Saint Paris Saint Germain fan, and I'll be talking sports with you, Uber. Even though you'll be somewhere else, you know you know where to where to sit, where to meet me. So we'll discuss some soccer. Um, the next student uh, would be Emily Pirozak. Emily will be going to Drew University. Very mature student that I've had. You know, did good, maintained an A for all four years that I've had her. Um, really never complains about anything just you know laid back and does what she's supposed to do um she will be majoring in english she doesn't really know what she wants to do she might become an elementary school teacher i see you being a great teacher emily or she wants to be an editor you know uh, a magazine editor and things like that and you will do great no matter where you go i'm going to miss um our sessions you know sit down and talk sessions but you know you have my contact and i'll still be keeping in touch with you last but not the least any produce any we've been together through ups and downs i've seen how mature i've seen her yield to the advice and to everything else that we could talk about. Um, Annie will be going to UCC for two years and then transferring after that. She also hopes to ha own her own business. And um, as of now, I know she's a manager in one of the businesses. I think she's learning a lot from that. And uh, I wish you well. I know you will do good and you know where to find me, you know, for anything, anytime. You know where to find Madame. Donc, euh, ceci va conclure notre cérémonie pour euh, ce soir. Euh, je vais finir en disant, en lisant notre devise euh, de la Société Honoraire de Français qui est la personne qui sait deux langues en vos deux personnes. You guys are leaving us now. You're living with already some solid foundation and background. You have the seal of biliteracy. You have your diplomas. You have the French language plus your native languages plus your English, so you have what our motto says. Allez, je vous félicite. Soyez de personnes, de citoyens exemplaires dans la société et on se verra à bientôt. Merci et à plus tard. Au revoir. 
Hello parents and guardians and students. My name is Anthony Fischetti, and I'm an Italian teacher here at Linden High School. In addition, I'm also the advisor of the Italian National Honor Society. In order to achieve the status of uh, admittance to the Italian National Honor Society, students need to study a minimum of two years of Italian while at Linden High School, achieve a 90 GPA or better, and an overall GPA of 80 or better. The following students are rising juniors that have achieved that mark. Hagar Elwashahi. Claudia Gregorski. Julia Kalentzis. Claudia Lukomska. Lauren Menzel. Carlos Miranda. Evelyn Ojeda. Chris Ordonez. Gabriela Uloa. Ashley Vieira. A big congratulations to those students and their accomplishments, and I look forward to working with you in the coming years. For the bittersweet part of this event is saying goodbye to my seniors. Um, all of you, I have worked with you for your ninth and 10th grade years in Italian honors. And as the IB coordinator, I've worked closely with you over the last two years as you've entered into the upperclassmen world and now begin your next journey onto bigger and better things. I cannot say enough good things about this group. Um, they are comprised of some of the most wonderful people that I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. I know that greatness awaits each and every one of them in their own respective ways. And I just, I cannot uh, tell you how proud I am of all of you. So congratulations. Kevin Coronado, who will attend Fairleigh Dickinson University in the fall. Jason Fonseca, who will be studying abroad in Portugal this fall. Leah Gonzalez, who will study at Rutgers this fall. Jordan Loftus, who will study at Westchester University this fall. Melissa Menzel, who will study at Kane University this fall. Carolyn Ramos, who will study at Union County College this fall. It is an honor to acknowledge and welcome the new members to the Spanish National Honor Society, Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. These students have distinguished themselves in school and in their community and have truly represent the true spirit of our school in their achievements. They have maintained an A average and went through an application process. Our junior members are 2021 Induction Ceremony Capitulo La Rosa Martiana Marian Delgado Malca Lauren Almeida Arian Muñoz, Jaylin Toro, Ariana Rodriguez, Christian Ventura, Samantha Gonzalez, Kayla Del Brun, Mutar Rawan, Andrea Murillo, Abigail Mainman. For the seniors, you will deserve academic success was strongly driven by your core values, where the dignity of work in pursuit of excellence is a reflection of your enduring belief that in hard work comes greatness. Moving forward, remember that your achievements are harder to build than to destroy. To build them, you have to engage and change. You guys are headed toward different universities. Go and explore your passion or pursue new opportunities. The past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. Good luck to you all. Mackenzie Kuntz. Next stop, Kent University. Major Language here in Science. Michelle Gaston. Next stop, Lynn University, Boca Raton, Florida. Major Premed Physiology, Science. Samara Rasuri. Next up, Rockers.
Major Finance. Ciara Reyes. Next up, Fashion Institute of Technology, majoring in Advertising, Marketing, and Communication Science. Anika Labrador. Next stop, University of Delaware, majoring in Mechanical Engineering with a concentration in Aerospace. Nicole Restrepo. Next stop, Stevens Institute, majoring in Computer Science. Brianna Fernandez. Next stop, Seton Hall, majoring BSN Nursing. Adasha Ramirez. Next stop, Kane University, majoring in Speech Language Hearing Science. Eileen Correa. Next stop, Fairleigh Dickinson University, major Pre Med Health. Daniela Valverde. Next stop, Rockers, majoring in Biology. Karina Acosta, class of 2021. Noel Delias, class of 2021. Pamela Bazan, class of 2021. Daniel Fernandez, class of 2021. Camila Torres, class of 2021. Sebastian Sanchez, class of 2021. 